Anakin, I'm going to go through the macros. I need you to not cause problems, okay? Anakin, look at me. You chill? Okay. He's, he thinks he's chill. So, I've just got one for cast penance. Um, I just whacked that on there. Just want to change runes so that it doesn't come off and on whatnot. Because it's on a different bind to uh, death, which is why I replace it with. Which I also have a macro for. Or is it unblind? This one. This is just my help harm. Uh, not my help harm. My, um, my death nearest target macro from... Wrath of the Lich King. I'll talk about that in a sec. Next one is Shield. This is a... This is a help harm one. So basically what this does is if I press 1 on a friendly target, it shields them. If I press 1 on an enemy target, it uses Shadow of Pain max rank. That's this put. And this part. If I press Control and 1, then it will use Cure Disease on a friendly target. If I press control while targeting an enemy, it will use Shadow of Pain rank 1. That's this part. Next one is Renew. It's also a help harm. Um, if I press 2 on an enemy, it void plagues. If I press 2 on a friend, it renews. If I press control 2 on a friend, it rank 1 renews. Pretty useful for PvE. Um, and just balancing common general. Next, we just got a Fortitude buff that just makes sure when I get a new rank of the spell, it does Fortitude. Um, and it upgrades the rank. I've got a few like that. This is quite a complicated targeting macro that I use for leveling and what it does is if I press this on an enemy like a crab or whatever then it will edit this other macro here All right you can see at the start it will edit this part of the macro to the name of the mob that I was targeting when I pressed the first one and then what I can do is if I'm looking around for that certain type of mob a lot then I can spam this macro and it will put a skull and target the mob that I'm looking for so it's a really easy way of not having to constantly edit this macro manually and find mobs of a certain name. So handy one for leveling there. Then I've just got a bandage one. What I need to do with this one, I need to adjust my bandage macro um, bind a little bit. But eventually what this will be is if I press a button, then it bandages uh, my target. And if I press shift or control or whatever and that button, then it will bandage myself. At the moment, it just auto bandages me. So it's a little bit lazy. Next is just target player. It's another bandage. Uh, use 13, use 14. This is just for my trinkets, as obviously I'm swapping trinkets around a lot. Uh, next one is Mind Blast. And this is just to help palm, either Mind Blast or Pom, uh, for when I'm running Pom. Target an enemy, it's Mind Blast. Target a friend, it's Pom. Uh, and same deal for Flash. Target an enemy, it's Smite. Target a friend, it's Flash. And then we've got Heal. Um, if I press 5 on a friend, it's Max Rank Heal. Uh, if I press control 5, it's lesser heal rank 1, used for bouncing pom. And if I target an enemy, it's holy fire. Haven't really been using that much holy fire at the moment, but maybe that'll change next phase. Uh, and then we've got one for mind flare as well that I'm not really using at the moment. But we'll do some stuff with that next uh, next phase. We'll, we'll, yeah. uh, next up, we have got just inner fire. And then if you press control 6 is inner fire, control 6 is rank 1 inner fire, basically. Uh, then we've got a dispel macro here. If I don't mop, uh, press any mod and I just press F, then it dispels my target. If I press Shift F, it dispels myself. And if I press Control F, it uses my anti-venom uh, on the target. So I can uh, I can remove poisons, basically. Uh, then it's my death macro. If I'm targeting an enemy, it will death them. If I'm not targeting an enemy or targeting a friend uh, or not targeting anything, it will death the nearest target. Uh, then we've just got Desperate Prayer. We've got Fade and Fade Rank 1, if I use Control. Uh, we've got Fear and Fear Rank 1. Not so relevant at the current phase since we only have Fear Rank 1. But if I hold down Shift and T, uh, it will do Fear Rank 1. If I do T, it's regular Fear. And if I do Control T, it's Shackle Undead. And at the moment I have Rank 1 in there, but you can take that out if you want. Uh, then we've got a Fearward Macro, same thing. Field myself if I press the shift with the back row or with the, with the key binding, and otherwise it's just regular field on the target. Uh, then we have inner focus, and this checks that I'm not channeling, uh, channeling penance before I use inner focus because if you're channeling penance and inner focus mid penance, it will consume it. Uh, it's a bug, so you need to be careful with that. Conversely, what you can also do is you can use inner focus and then penance, and then halfway through the penance after the second tick, use another spell, and both of the spells will be free. Uh, this is just an invite macro for while leveling. 
a grenade macro, it will use an iron grenade if no mod, and a thorium grenade if I use a mod. You can switch those around if you want, it's your personal preference, whatever you use more. Holy Nova and rank 1 Holy Nova. If you're using, if you're pressing shift, so you see a lot of these macros are just help harm and uh, also modifier macros. Then just target party pet, if you want to target the, the pet in the group. Uh, power infusion and player power infusion. Skull of Impending Doom equips it. Uh, if you're not equipping, if you don't have it on already, sorry, and uses it if you do. Uh, stop casting, also have stop attack and cancel or levitate in it, just because it's handy. This is the target macro I was talking about earlier. Wand macro, um, so you can spam the button and it won't cancel it. And then uh, just a drink macro that also has food in it, so that I don't have to constantly press two buttons. And that's it. That's all the macros.